Here's another update on my uh, aquaponics build. Just want to give you a little heads up. Um, I don't know if you've ever installed unisils or had the pleasure of installing them. Well, I believe they're a great product. They can be a pain in the rear sometimes. Um, and what I mean, especially the bigger sizes, the smaller sizes really seem to do okay. But when you're trying to put these bigger sizes in, that can be a little bit of a problem. So what I suggest, now I know I've heard of people using all kinds of, of cleaners and, and whatnot to slick it up, but I use a good concentrate of Windex, and I have used Dawn before too. And But one of the things I really do, I don't know if you can see that, but what I've done, let me put it against the darker backboard. I've taken the, uh, the end that's going in, I've taken a little four inch grinder and just grinded a little, little piece right around the, the edge. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to to kind of put it in and I just wiggle it back and forth after then spray with the Windex push it in and wiggle it back and forth now when it comes to these barrels it's it's kind of hard you can, still, you can get it done rather easily but when you go to those stock tanks it's a little bit more work you got to make sure you got that angle really nice on the uh, on the uh, the PVC you're pushing in there uh, I don't have anybody to hold the camera unfortunately if I did, I'd have somebody hold it while I actually installed one of these things, so you could kind of see. You got to put a little bit of a groove on it. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. If you have any questions about the Unisils or, like I said, they're a great product, and uh, I love using them, and they get rid of a lot of headaches. But just like I say, installing them, it could be a little bit daunting. But if you make sure you put that little beveled in there, you just take your grinder or whatever Dremel. I've used a Dremel, but you'll get dust all over using that. But and put that little, just that little edge around it. You can probably even get a little bit more of an angle. It'd probably work better, but uh, that'll help you out a lot. So I hope this helps you out if you've been frustrated. Because I looked for a lot of things of how to put them. I couldn't really find a lot. So, uh, but anyways, if you got any questions about, it, let me know. Hope this video helps you out. And if you like what you're seeing, like I say, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on this build here. All right, you guys have a good one.